Hello, it is I. Our car customization in Forza Horizon 5 is genuinely very good. Like, very, very good. Look at these body kits, man. But with a few tips and tricks, you can unlock more customization potential and make your build that much more unique. Which is why I'm here with this video, as there are 8 customization hacks you may find useful in Forza Horizon 5. Now, this video is mainly aimed at new players who are new to my channel. So if you're a Forza veteran, then you'd probably know about all these tips and tricks. Hence, I may repeat points that I mentioned in my older videos. <clears throat> Anyways, now that that's cleared, you know the drill. 4,000 likes is the target, come on. If you manage to hit that, then uh, I don't have an incentive, but just press it, okay? It helps out a lot, and I'm trying to help you guys out as well. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. How can I be home of my bitches? Now let's say you want to slam your car to the ground, but the lowest you can go is this. Well, there's no need to worry because I have the solution. First of all, install race suspension. Now this is a little bit weird, but now install off-roading tires. Then head into the tuning tab and lower the car like this, and then make sure the suspension is as soft as possible. After you've done that, head to any place where there's a race, I'll be choosing this place. Go to browse events, go to search, and then go to share code. And now the share code is 170. 958373. There you go, two times gravity and torque highway. And now select whatever car you want to be lowering. So I'm going to be choosing my GT86. Keep still and look at the car drop. What's this? Did it, did it do it? I don't know. I don't know if it has. Uh, I've seen people do it with an Evo and it actually works incredibly. Okay, I want to see if it works with my Evo. Oh my god, it does. Okay, so it does work. Look at that. That's fully tucked. Jesus. Okay, so if you're going to do this, then don't do it with a GT86. Do it with an Evo, because that looks so much better. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. Wow, what an incredibly beautiful E92 M3. Very nice. And you know what? Let's pop the bonnet and see what it's packing. Oh, I know it's a V8, but it looks pretty bland to me. And you know what? I reckon a painted engine bay could really help to make this car look amazing. So how do you do this? Why allow me to demonstrate? First of all, paint the car what color you want the engine bay to be. So because I have yellow calipers on this car, I'll be going for a yellowish orange color like this. Now you can paint the bonnet and the door mirrors to color you want the actual car's exterior to be. Now go to apply vinyls and decals and put on the color that you want the exterior to be so not a gray again. Let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that and we are done! Okay now you can pop the bonnet of the car and look at that beautiful engine but it's yellow here. Oh my god it looks so good and it matches the calipers so well. Look at the yellow calipers and look at the yellow engine bait. Oh my god it's like a match made in heaven. Now obviously the paint might show you through the wide body kit and the door seals which won't look that good but you can't complain about that when you have a painted engine bay. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh my god. The man them celebrate E, the trap store running on Christmas Day. Now let's say you want to create a sleeper car with a 6.4 litre Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh my god, this is what a great platform for a sleeper. Now let's see what bumpers we can use for this car. Oh my god, would you look at that? Now you might be wondering what other cars have base spec trim in this game. Why allow me to show you? Because you can turn this Audi RS3 into a standard A3. You can turn this RS4 into a standard A4 Avant with that. Oh my god, look how beautiful that is. This RS5 could become an A5. This Transit Super Sport van can turn into a bog standard Transit van. Oh my god, look at that. Dave, get in the car, mate. You can turn this Celica GT4 into a standard Celica. Look how many factory bumpers there are. Oh my god. You can turn this Celica into a standard Celica as well, like that. Jesus, that looks so weird. Also, you can turn this Celica SSI into a standard Celica, but I don't have that in the game, so I can't show you that. And you can turn this BMW Z3 M Coupe into a standard Z3 Coupe. Look at that. That is so standard. So if you're looking to create a sleeper car, then any of these cars would be fantastic platforms to do so. Somebody told Doja Cat. I'm to okay, so I just built this Ford Puma racing car and I'm actually pretty proud of it. But there's one very small problem about this car as well. It just doesn't sound like a racing car. There's no mechanical wire and it just sounds like an ordinary Ford engine, which it is. Well, don't worry about it because if you go into the drive train, go into transmission, and select the transmission with the most gear, so I'm looking for a 10 speed, there you go, there's a 10 speed one. And now when you take this car for a drive... There's a mechanical wind which sounds so race car. When you lift off, you'll especially hear it. Listen to this. 
You see that little wine there? Yeah, that is a transmission wine and it sounds very race car. So if you want your car to have a more mechanical whining sound to it, then just install the 10-speed transmission and you are done. And let's say you want coloured carbon fibre on this car, well, if you go onto the gloss carbon fibre, if you press the X button or wherever it says tint, you can change the colour of the carbon fibre. Of course, you need to turn saturation up. And look at that, we've got a green carbon <laughs> Aventador. That is so weird. And the same thing works for chrome in this game, because if you go all the way to chrome, you can tint it by turning the saturation up, obviously. What is this? So yeah, man, let's go with chrome purple. Okay, so right now I have a gloss triangle, so let's put that here. Now, if you press the menu button, then you can change the material of the vinyl. So you can slide it all the way here and look at that. Now it's matte. Now, let's say within this triangle, you want a chrome purple star. So to show the body color, you need to go to here and go on apply mask shape. And look at that, it's a chrome purple star or whatever the colour of your car's body is. But what if you want to write KSI on the side of your car? Well, this is going to be long, even though it's just three letters here. Look, I need to line it. Oh, there. Okay, I need to. I messed that up. Now I need to go to scale, do this. Oh, it's so long. This is so. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time here. Oh my god, I'm, my arms are hurting. My, yeah. As you can see, I just experienced a migraine trying to apply letters onto this car. Well, don't worry about that because if you go to the letter thing here, if you press X, you can actually type in what you want the text to say and look at that mate. if you did this individually yeah then you'd be here for hours but i just typed it in quick ting 10 seconds voila your mum is kind of cringe now let's say i want to apply tron lines onto this car just like what case i had you know what, let's just type in a ventador and then hopefully a tron vinyl thing would come up well this is a little bit awkward the tron things are not as detailed as i would like it to be well no worries because if you go into here and increase the max layers thing let's go up to i don't know like a thousand let's just say a thousand yeah. Now more detailed ones would come up, so look at that. This is exactly what I was looking for, and of course we need to easy change the colour to the orange. Now fortunately there's only a left hand side design for this car, so there's no right hand one for this side. But no worries, because if you go here, go to mirror, go to mirror to the other side, look at that! It's mirror to the other side, it's pretty much perfect. And there you go man, your car is complete, and look how beautiful that looks. Oh my god, la Lamborghini! Now obviously if you're a Forza veteran, then you definitely know about these methods. But if you're completely new to the franchise, then you probably learned something new that Jesus Christ, I cannot drive, man. Now, in most cars in this game, you can remove the wing by doing this, and look at that, the wing is gone. However, on other cars like the GT2 RS, you can either put this wing on or the Forza wing on, and nobody wants to put the Forza wing on. That is disgusting. And it's even worse on a GT3 RS because you can't even touch the wing on this car. What is this? But as we all know, the GT3 RS. RS looks incredible without a wing. So how can you remove the wing on this car without removing the wing because you can't remove the wing through the Forza customization thing? Oh, don't worry because I have the solution. First of all, you go into here, go into settings, go into difficulty and uh, yeah, you need to do this. Once you've done that, pick up some nasty speed, pull the handbrake, voila, okay, no, that didn't work. Pull the handbrake and then Neil gone is, no, reverse into a building like this and look at that, the wing is gone. Now, yes, guys, I know the bumper's all dented and it looks kind of broken but look how good that looks yeah there is probably a cleaner way of doing this without damaging the bumper but i'm too lazy to find one now so if you if you want to remove the wing off a gt3 rs or a gt2 rs or any car just reverse into a house and you'll be done i don't know about you but i value my life because imagine now in forza you can turn front wheel drive cars into rear wheel drive or all wheel drive you could also turn rear wheel drive cars to all wheel drive or you can turn all wheel drive cars into rear wheel drive but you can never convert a car to front wheel drive which is very weird. Until now, because I am a genius who knows everything and I can convert a car to front wheel drive. Watch this. First off, find yourself a car. I'll be using this mad Mustang. Yeah, look at that beautiful blue blue. Now go into the drivetrain thing and convert this rear wheel drive car to all wheel drive. If you have an all wheel drive car, then don't worry about this part. Then go into the drivetrain, go into differential and install a race differential. Now go to custom tuning, go all the way to differential. And you see the balance thing here? Send that all the way to the front. And now you are done. You have a front wheel drive Mustang which can be beaten by every single other Mustang because everything else is rear wheel drive or all wheel drive and now my car's gonna understand crash into it yep 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 so yeah man if you want to ruin your Mustang and convert it to front wheel drive then do this method and you'll be very very disappointed
Nobody there, so f it, I might attend it. Gotta kick back sometimes. I'm now, let's say you don't like the standard horizon plays that I've given to you from the start of the game. Well, no worries, because you can remove the plate by doing this. Go to design and paints, go and apply vinyls and decals. And I go to search and then go here and type in plate. I'm looking for a UK style plate, but you can choose whatever style you want. Where's the UK one? Where's the you Look at that. 04 Kyo. Yeah, I know it's got someone else's name on it, but screw it. It looks good. Make sure you got the size right, and then we'll make sure to put it in the right place. If you don't know what the right place is, then you can bring back the plate by doing this, and then adjusting where the plate is until it slightly goes out like this, and then you lower it back, and then kind of sort of adjust it sort of fifth. There you go. And now when you remove the plate, it should look incredible. Look at that. Jesus. That's perfect. That's so much better than this plate. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. This was meant to be the last point in this video. This is the eighth point, but I'm feeling a little generous today. So make sure to leave a like down below. Let's really try and hit 4,000 likes in this video. Thank you very much. And now here are an extra two customization tips and tricks. And there are quite a few cars in Forza Horizon 5 with interior modifications, which you just may not know about. Like this Plymouth Cuda, because if you remove weight from this car, watch what happens. Yep, the passenger seat goes away. That is what you call weight reduction right there. For those of you who don't believe me, if I open the door, look at that. Where is the seat? There is nowhere seat to be. <laughs> also, with the Audi RS4 Avant, you can change the color of the exterior of the car. So let's just go with a baby blue like this. Now, when you step inside the car, the steering wheel is baby blue, just like the body of the car. Look at that. And the same thing for the climate dials. Look at that. That's baby blue as well, just like the exterior. This is beautiful. And it's not just baby blue. This works with every single color in this game. Also, with the Crown Victoria, if you install the police lights with the spotlight on it, there's a little handle for the spotlight, meaning you can control the spotlights from inside the car. How incredible is that? Also, with the McLaren Senna, the secondary paint option actually changes the interior beam of the car where there's a hydraulic arm. Also, with this BMW M4 GTS, if you install the roll cage, it's orange. Yeah, if we have an orange roll cage, what is that? That is a little bit cringe. And with this Ford F100, changing the paint of the car actually changes the paint of the interior as well. Even these swirly designs are applied onto the interior. How incredible is that? Now, those are the only cars I'm aware of with quote-unquote interior modifications. So if you know of any more, then leave them in the comments down below and I'll make a dedicated video on that topic. Now, let's say for whatever reason, you want to remove the brakes from a car and turn it into a death trap. First of all, that's very concerning. You should see a doctor. And secondly, let me show you how to do it. Step one is to max out the brakes. Step two is to go into the tuning, go all the way to brake over here and turn braking force pressure all the way to low, which is in fact zero. And step three, well, there's no step, mate. You completed it, mate. Yeah, people, I'm holding the brakes and it's rolling down. What is this car, man? So yeah, man, you can gift this car to... Oh, I forgot there's no bread. Oh, I literally just got rid of the brakes right now. So yeah, but if you really want to have fun with this car, then you can gift it to someone and ruin their day because they have a car with no brakes. So yeah, man, do that and it'll be very, very funny. Well, hello there, my friend. Did you enjoy this video? If so, then you might enjoy this video up here. So make sure to give that a watch now. Otherwise, I will up on you. Also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, there's a button down below here that should guide you to my channel where you can subscribe and I'll be happy. You'll be happy. I'll, uh, no, I don't know if you'll be happy. You won't be happy. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Cheers.